Hello, my name is Mina Matthews and I'm the Senior Instructional Designer with University College. Welcome to the short course for new online faculty. Whether you're a seasoned face-to-face -face instructor or this is your first time ever teaching, this class will help you develop the concepts necessary for web-based delivery of your course content. If you're teaching a hybrid class, an ITV CAP class, or a video conferencing class, then please make prolific use of the discussion board. The concepts in this class will help you design the overall components of your course for that environment. And it will also help you learn some of the features of the learning management system that you can use to develop those course materials. However, we have about eight instructors and teaching assistants in this class, and we really are able to provide you with some individualized support. So if you ask your questions that are unique to your course teaching experience in those discussion boards, we would be happy to help you develop your own course in that environment. One thing I want to draw your attention to is the Blackboard learning achievements. Because we know not every instructor will be using Blackboard specifically, even though Blackboard is the learning management system sanctioned by the University of Maine system, we want to make sure that Blackboard is an option for you. The Blackboard learning achievements will be where you can learn how to push the buttons in Blackboard and make Blackboard do some of the things you want to do. We're developing the Blackboard Learning Achievements over time, so you won't find everything that you want in that area. However, you will find some of the basic features of Blackboard, such as how to install a folder in a content area so that you can start putting content, how to upload your syllabus, or how to create mini web pages in your Blackboard site. Those materials are all optional to you, and I encourage you to use them. Because whenever we use technology, it bumps up against cognitive load, we want to make sure that we, and you are only using the technology that suits your needs. What I mean by that is, whenever we introduce new technology into our learning environment, we have to learn the technology and the course content and learning outcomes simultaneously. And we only have enough room to learn one or two things at a time. So for that reason, we try very hard to keep our technology needs to a minimum. And we ask that as you're developing your course content, you also try to keep the amount of technology that your students will need to learn to a minimum, whatever is the bare minimum necessary to meet your particular learning outcomes. For some people, that will be several pieces of technology, and for others, it will only be a few. Thank you for signing up for the short course. I look forward to working with you in this class.